What's up folks? Welcome back to my YouTube channel Code to Create. In today's video, we're going to create a model that predicts a future sale. So let's get started. First, I'm going to import the necessary libraries. First, I'm going to import, so I'm going to import pandas. I'm going to import it as pd. And then I'm going to import numpy or numpy anything as np. And then I'm going to import seaborn and matplotlib. The basic, you know, import, the basic libraries that we need. C1 as SNS. If you guys want to do the analysis and everything, it's we have to import C1 and matplotlib. They're like most common one used. Matplotlib import plot as speed. Let's run this. And yes, guys. Now let's read our train and test data set. So I'm gonna say train data train train df. Is equal to pd dot read underscore csv i'm gonna move up to my files get my directory and i'm gonna say slash train dot sorry train dot csv I'm going to come down to the same. I'm going to say testdf is equal to pd.read underscore csv. Actually, let's let's just copy this line and then paste it up and put it as test data set. Let's do the same. Let's run this. Yes, I'm going to say train df we have all our columns our item weight item fat content item visibility item type item m mrp and outlet identifier and many other columns we have 8523 rows and 12 columns and now let's check a bit of information about this so i'm going to say df dot data type data types yes and we can see we have floats and objects and now let's check our train data set shape i'm going to say train df dot shape <laughs> okay it should not be a top though let's run this let's rerun this again and now let's see it shouldn't be a tuple oh yes guys yeah, and now let's check our test data set shape. I'm sorry. Yeah. We have one less column in our data set in our test data set and that's our target variable. And then let's check or if there are any null values. I'm gonna say train df dot is null dot sum. We have it in the item weight in outlet size okay and let's fill and uh, and let's fill this null values from our item weight let's fill it with the mode i'm gonna say train df of item weight Sorry, guys. item weight dot value count let's just check which is the mode and also let's fill it up if you guys don't want to check, you can just skip this checking value counts. That's only totally fine. Train df of item weight dot fill now. That fill null values. Train of which 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 data set and which column. It's going to be train data set and our item weight column. And with what way we're going to fill it? With the mode. So I'm going to say dot mode. And in place is equal to true as we don't want multiple rows here. And I'm gonna set in place is equal to true. Yes, now let's check our null values in our train data set. I'm gonna say train df dot is null dot sum. Yes, we don't have it in the item weight column. We don't have any null values in our item weight column. Let's do the same for this outlet size. It's 
will be outlet size outlet size outlet size yes now let's check our null values there should not be any null values in our train data set yes no null values but but i'm gonna put the source code in the description below and in that there's analysis and let's set our x and y values now i'm gonna say x is equal to train dev dot i lock i lock is basically for getting that column the x is going to be other than the last one so i'm going to put one two minus one and our y is going to be our last column oh sorry guys that's the minus one let's run this let's see our x and y values we can see we don't have the sales column up here and let's check our y value yes that's going to be outlet sales our item outlet sales now let's convert all these categorical columns so i'm going to say from sklearn first let's import label encoder and one note encoder for converting them so i'm going to say from sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder and one hot encoder i'm gonna say encoder is equal i'm gonna say label label encoder x oh sorry guys label encoder x is equal to i'm just creating a class up here guys label encoder and now i'm going to change all our columns so we're basically going to be like x which column we have to mention so i'm going to say x is equal to label label encoder x dot fit transform x which column number is basically we're going to do we can do it the other way too guys and i'm going to do the same for our item type our outlet identifier outlet size outlet location type and also we're going to convert all these dummy variables into an array so i'm going to do that yes guys we can see i've completed everything and i've converted this into a array and a fit transform using one not encoder let's run this and after this we have to split our data set so i'm going to say okay we have we have a error okay why is it showing a error and what is the error it's type error Okay, let's just try rerunning this again. I don't know why this is showing an error, guys. Oh, okay, guys. So first, before this, we have to normally distribute our data set. Let's do it before, before all of this. For yes, up here. I'm gonna say train. I'm gonna say train. Okay, I'm gonna say train tf of item outlet sales is equal to np dot log is equal to np dot log np dot log train tf sales. Let's run this. Let's go to it from the first. And now it shouldn't. There's still an error. 
Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, guys. So let's just put the column name then, if it shows an error like this. So I'm gonna say x of item fat. So I'm gonna say x of item fat content. equal to x of item fat content item type x of item type outlet Identifier letter identifier of the size Outlet location type Outlet location type. Let's run this. It still shows an error. Outlet size. It shows an error in outlet size. Let's run this now. Yes, guys. Finally, no error. And now let's do the train test split. I'm going to say train test split. Okay, now let's do the train test split. So I'm going to say x train, comma x test, comma y train, comma y test is equal to train test split, split, add x and y and a random size. X and Y and the test size test size is in the random state is zero. And uh, let's import our standard scalar now. Let me run this first. Train test split is not there. Okay, I guess I've imported. Let's just import it again. I'm gonna say from scalon dot model selection import train test split yes guys and now let's import standard scalar so i'm going to say from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar I'm just going to create a class SC is equal to standard scalar and, I'm, and then I'm going to say x train is equal to SC dot fit transform we are standardizing it basically x train and let's do the same for our x test I'm going to say x test is equal to 
se dot fit transform transform x test yes guys after this we have to import our classification and after yes guys after this we have to import our algorithm i'm going to use random forest regressor so i'm going to say from sklearn dot ensemble import ran, random forest regressor and then i'm going to say regressor is equal to random forest regressor and estimators i'm going to say then estim estimators too then I'm gonna set the n estimators to 10 oh I'm sorry guys and random state to and run what's wrong and random state to 0 And then I'm gonna say regressor dot fit x train comma y train. Let's run this. And then let's say y predict is equal to regressor dot predict x test. And at the end we have to export our model. So I'm gonna import joblib and I'm gonna say joblib dot dump y prediction and we're gonna save it as model